Lots of talk in Los Angeles, West Hollywood, the Sunset Strip, the places that matter in this world. Tough, legendary band. How can you even begin to try to categorize them? What, what box would you put them in? Glam, glitter, hard rock, heavy metal. They inspired so many people. Their dominance was unquestioned. 1988. Who was going to say that a band was bigger on the Sunset Strip than Tough? They just, they hit the ground running. 1989, their fame and fortune was a matter of public record. 1990, they landed that major label deal with Atlantic. 1991, they hit number three on the MTV video charts. I mean, these guys, they lived it up. It was the decade of disrespect. And now, so many years later, after playing so many hot dog joints, so many flea markets, so many casinos, so many, you know, club dates and big arena tours in Africa and Eastern Europe. Now, now the rumor is that they're going to get inducted. That's right. Who's going to give the speech? I don't know. I really don't know. It's probably going to be another band, you know, as they do. Remember when Kiss got inducted? Tupac, the late, great Tupac Shakur, he inducted them. Beck inducted Van Halen. And, you know, for Tough, it would be a, probably a similar, you know, band artist on that level. It could be London, maybe. Nadir Dupriz could be up there. Someone huge, you know what I mean? Maybe uh, Carrie Kelly from Big Bang Babies. I mean, we're talking the big, big bands. And... um it would be, it would be, uh, it would be iconic, you know. Now, you might be saying, well, how will we know? Well, there's a whole process that takes place. You know, you don't just get inducted. You don't just, like, say, okay, well, you know, tough, legendary band, you know, legendary guitar player, George DeSaint, rock god, Stevie Rochelle, drum lord, Michael Lean, and bass ace, Todd Chase. They don't just you know, say, oh, you know, well, what are you guys doing this week? Oh, we're getting inducted. It doesn't work that way. There's a, there's, there's just like, there's like councils and stuff. In this case, these councils, they probably meet at In-N-Out or whatever, or Ralph's, you know, uh, maybe they meet at the Rainbow, you know, their menu is very, very good. I mean, they've got some really nice selections, you know, maybe they meet outside of the Roxy or the Whiskey, you know, places that tough, I mean, people, you couldn't get in one more person in there with a shoehorn, beautiful women, uh, men of questionable ethics. I mean, everybody was just waiting to get in line, not even waiting to get into the venue, waiting to get in line. I mean, he had, he had like two or three lines trying to get to the line, then trying to get into the venue to see George and Todd and Stevie and Michael. I mean, all the women were there for Michael. But the point is, is that, you know, to see these guys finally, maybe they could find George. You know, nobody knows where George is at. And we all hope that George is doing well. You know, he also got a lot of the beautiful women. You know, the reality of the matter is everybody got a beautiful woman in that band except for Stevie. But the point is, the point is, you know, big girls need loving too. Am I right? So here's the deal, folks. If Tough gets inducted, it's going to be the biggest thing on the Sunset Strip. People are going to be just, you know, flocking in droves. You know, flocking in droves. And now, I know what you guys are saying. Why would people be flocking in droves to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? You know, in West Hollywood, you know, on the Sunset Strip, throughout Los Angeles, maybe as far as Orange County. Why would they be flocking? to the Sunset Strip and not to Cleveland because there is a little wrinkle. There is a little wrinkle. I'm not talking about Tough getting inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. No, no, no. I'm talking about Tough getting inducted into the Rock and Roll Hill of Fame. 